All right, guys, uh, just want to take you to this. Um, now, what we've got is basically almost a third of US West Coast newborns hit with thyroid problems after Fukushima, nuclear disaster. Um, and that's because in the uh, West, in America, they do blood tests on all thyroid, all, all, all babies, basically, for thyroid uh, abnormalities or hypothyroidism. So, <clears throat> basically, RT has reported this, and it was on April the 3rd, uh, 2013. And uh, I'm going to leave a link to it so you can read that for yourself. And I brought this up because they're saying that uh, the West Coast got hit by iodine-131 from Fukushima, increasing hypothyroidism in, uh, in children. Um, so, uh, <clears throat> and of course, we're, we're looking at uh, a medical reactor going off in Europe. So I just wanted to bring you to this. Um, article and let me just see so if we go to this particular article here I'll just zoom in a little bit um, and uh, Fox News ID 131 causing infant deaths in Philadelphia uh, and then there's some issue uh, around whether uh, when this story first broke uh, whether it's uh, Fukushima or whether it was local um, medical uh, uh, isotopes uh, that were doing the job uh, so basically the there's a big discussion about it um, I, I think generally that uh, there was a problem from 2005 in uh, Philadelphia I believe uh, to do with isotopes in the water supply uh, causing these problems uh, but um, there was also a discussion about the fact that there was on top of that then you had uh, uh, sort of iodine 131 from um, uh, basically uh, Fukushima which uh, came along as well so anyway there's a discussion going on there. I just wanted to bring you to that and that was and I wanted to bring you to this one particularly because it is sort of saying well this is medical this is the reactor we make for chemotherapy uh, these are waste pro producers or they're the uh, products coming out of the patients into the uh, water supply one of the two or both um, so <clears throat> basically uh, the, there has been a problem it was reported um, and there was a, a quite a 48 percent increase uh, in the death rate of babies uh, uh, and it says that since iodine 131 was found in Philadelphia's drinking water but it had been since 2005 and uh, we haven't got the stats to match up the infant deaths with the other other peaks and troughs of iodine 131 so um, I was just going to take you to those two articles and then I'm going to go straight to this, if it, oh, if it works. All right, okay. Information regarding stillbirths. Um, just I might have to zoom out a little bit here, just to try and get that in. Okay, well, I'm going to read it off at the top anyway, and um, I'll be putting an article up uh, with the. Uh, <coughs> with the picture of this so you can read it for yourself so anyway um, this is also from the uh, West Hereford uh, uh, Watford uh, Hospital uh, basically uh, uh, which is West Hereford Hospital NHS Trust uh, and it says thank you for your request for information I am pleased to provide the following responses listed below so statistics for infants that are stillborn last five years starting 2007 to 2012 um, now the actual stillborn statistics um, they kind of show that there was a bit of a peak in 2009-10 um, and, uh, and then basically a drop off 2010-11 and then a slight rise 2011-12 I mean kind of looking at the uh, sort of averages there I mean, we're certainly seeing an increase, um, I would say, um, but uh, nothing, nothing, nothing as definitive as we had with the respiratory. However, when I bring you down to this bit, uh, and I'll just zoom out, I just want to make sure you get all that. So that's uh, statistics for the last five years. Right, okay. 
and basically that's from 2007 to 2012. Now, in 2007 um, and 2008, um, where we were getting low respiratory issues, uh, we were getting 283 people uh, having uh, miscarriages uh, from this particular hospital. And there's a lot of hospitals in the UK, so that's quite uh, quite an issue. And, and um, 2008, 2009, we're getting an increase, goes up about 100 in this particular hospital, um, and then it increases again, about another 80 or so. Um, and then 2010 and 11, we have a little drop, so maybe that, uh, we have that that correlation there between the high in uh, stillbirths uh, of 34 which is statistically uh, significant in 2009 and a drop uh, obviously afterwards uh, which we saw but uh, the drop wasn't too too, uh, too drastic but the increase to 535 that certainly is drastic in 2011 to 2012 and I, I think that's um, that is statistically uh, significant, and that the increases year on year are statistically significant when matched up with the uh, the data, and and bearing in mind the uh, outputs from these uh, MOX uh, facilities and the medical facilities, because uh, you know there's a shortage of medical isotopes, so they're under pressure to make these. Um, and uh, all right, okay, well, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to keep this short. I'm going to put this up. I'm going to put links to it. Um, you can have a look at this stuff yourself. Um, I'll put a link also to UC Berkeley, uh, who are having a discussion uh, about the um, iodine one through one killing babies and, and all the things that was about. Uh, also, some great information in there about how to protect yourself, which wasn't told to people in the mainstream media. Okay, well, <clears throat> I'm just going to leave you with that. <clears throat> and... Uh, it's quite shocking uh, statistics, and a big heads up to Jam Noise seventy two uh, for the you know I'll leave a link for her uh, video, and she does some great research, and she's certainly done some absolutely fantastic research here. This is uh, this is just it correlates you know perfectly with uh, the Fukushima thing, um, and it would be interesting to see the two thousand twelve statistics as well. Of course, we don't know if this is from we presume this is from January to January not from April to April, but um, uh, I'm not 100% sure about that. If I get clarification, I'll let you know. <laughs> but uh, the stats themselves sort of, uh, they, do, they do speak for themselves, I think. And uh, there was something in 2009 and 10 worth bearing in a little investigation on, I suspect. All right, well, look, thanks a lot for your uh, um, time and effort uh, of uh, watching the video and you know, if you're interested, have a look at a few of the other videos. And more importantly, do some investigation for yourself on uh, air quality in Europe, and you'll it'll turn up some quite um, amazing uh, statistics, which uh, we're not being told about. Um, you know, there's a there's a sort of a limit on to how much uh, the papers can say about this for many different reasons. You know, the UK could get uh, fined by the Olympic Committee, and so on and so on, and it's. Uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of corporate reasons why uh, we don't want to be told that MOX is very dirty for our atmosphere and it's, uh, you know, it's killing things and uh, making peeping, people unwell. Um, okay, all right, well, I thought I'd leave it with that. I think that's it. Enough of me. Um, 